wolf, we want to start with that eyebrow ridge and give him some nice, big, white peaks. So we do a triangle above the eyebrow. I'm just using a white Star Blends powder. We've got nice two wolf ears. We want to come from the corner of the eye straight down. And the thing that will make this look more dog and less cat is by having more of a square snout. Okay, so then we want a little white edge over here. Okay. And have an open mouth on the wolf. I feel like it's one of the few designs. I just really like the way it looks. I like to do this with a one stroke and we've got a messy black and white smeared together so that it's gray. And then we've got a second ear here. And remember, every animal has a forehead. So we're gonna just come straight across clear up there. Then we're gonna bring some of that side in and we're gonna bring some of this side in. Then whatever is the darker edge, we just come straight down the nose on either side. You can even paint the top of his eyelid this darker color and that is going to widen his snout. Then we're gonna just come straight in and give us that nice triangle. And then we can just color his nose. We're gonna cut up right in the center of the ear on both sides. And we just cut up right in the middle. And you can see I'm doing a lot of strikes with my brush. That gives us this furry look. Remember, we want this to look like he's got this really big front muzzle. And so instead of coloring all the way down to his beard line like we could, I'm stopping right here and it's gonna bring that part of the mouth forward. If we were doing a tiger, this is the nose that I typically do. But you can see that that just doesn't fit the wolf quite right. So the center piece, we wanna bring it up a lot higher and get it to go straight across. And now all of a sudden that is more canine. And then something that I really like to do is I trace the outside of the nostril right there and it makes it look almost like his nostrils are flared by giving that a little bit more of a shadow. I like to flick in and either side here and just give it some little wrinkles and that's gonna give this wolf a snarl on his face. Do some feathery strokes to look like fur. So we bring this up and then we fur it out. I like to do some lines that are a little bit in line but a little all over the place for that puzzle. Okay, now the fun of outlining. So here we go. And by going out once, that just gives you that little angry wolf look. A little bit of the unibrow, but not on the eyebrow line, up a little bit higher. And then I add some black to there to just give it a nice look. If we do some furry lines going in either direction, I like to bend them out a little bit so that you can tell there is an inner ear and we just add again those furry lines. And then right here, I like to do a little bit of a swoop. If you want this to be a little more stylized, on those lines, you can do some thin and then some thick. Then what I like to do is on the corner of the mouth, we're gonna give him his wolf fangs. And then this line that's coming up from the top lip, I like to put it there on the bottom lip and trace that lip. We can go ahead and put in a bottom row of teeth if he didn't have the beard, I would go in and I would really heavily define this bottom. So let's grab a little bit of red and fill that tongue. And add in those white fangs. I have a bigger brush because I think that that's kind of easier. We can do a real thin line at the bottom to separate the teeth that we're doing from the jaw. I like to use a really light gray. I feel like white is gonna fight with his teeth and it's gonna fight with the white fur and I don't wanna do that. You can do a line right in the middle and then split this in half. I wouldn't fur the top. We don't really want him to look like he went through the dryer cycle or something. Get in there, finish something. Oh, and then of course, this is a great design to paint eyeballs on the eyelids. Okay, so here we come in. We're gonna do uh, an oval there. And then we're gonna bend the oval so that we've got a whole line of yellow right there that we're gonna go over in white. On this one, we wanna have it be on the same side because that highlight is coming from a light source. 
having a longer highlight is going to look a little bit meaner. Now you can see this white fur out here. I really like the way that that adds. And so if you add a little bit of stark white, that can even add more. So with a, just a damp brush, I can come in and I can soften that line and have it turn into a shadow. That's gonna make it just kind of fade in. Do you want your wolf to be sparkly today? Why not? And maybe you're laughing at me and being like, Lara, of course, sparkles look good on everything, but I'm still learning. Give us a howl. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Okay.